Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover a single filter demo. Uh, the client send uh, request to the hello world servlet. Okay. Uh, before uh, request goes to the hello world servlet, uh, it goes to the lock filter. So what this uh, lock filter will do is uh, it will lock the IP address of the client machine and the current time. Okay. Then uh, it will forward the request to hello world servlet. Then hello world servlet will uh, process the request and uh, it will send a response back to the lock filter then uh, lock filter will uh, send response back to the client okay so this configuration uh, we can do it in the web.xml okay so before hit hello world servlet the request should go to the lock filter so that kind of uh, configuration we can do it in the web.xml i will uh, show you the code and uh, i will uh, explain it uh, clearly okay so that you will understand uh, to explain how to configure a single filter, I have created this uh, web application called uh, single filter demo. Uh, first, what I will do is I will uh, deploy this uh, web application. So before that, I will uh, build this project. Then file, export and create a war file. And I am placing inside the Tomcat uh, web apps folder. Okay that single filter uh, demo war finish I'm starting the server uh, server has been uh, started successfully uh, I'm going to access the web application using this uh, URL I'm clicking enter so now it is displaying uh, index.html content index.html is nothing but a welcome page i will open uh, in eclipse so this is the index.html and it has one link called a single uh, filter demo so when you click uh, uh, it will send a request to the server okay and uh, action is hello okay so i am clicking the link so it sends a request to the web server and it is displaying uh, lock filter is invoked uh, before hello world lock filter is invoked after okay uh, so when we click on uh, single filter uh, demo link uh, the request goes to the web server and the url pattern is uh, hello okay uh, so what web server will do is it will forward the request to the servlet container then the servlet container will check the url pattern hello is there in the web.xml or not okay so i'm opening uh, web.xml so you can see uh, the url pattern hello is there in the web.xml so servlet container will uh, identify the corresponding uh, servlet using this url pattern hello okay so in this case uh, corresponding uh, servlet class is hello world servlet so it will initialize this hello world servlet and uh, before executing this uh, hello world servlet uh, the servlet container will execute the lock filter because uh, we have configured uh, for the same URL pattern uh, uh, one lock filter. Okay, so the configuration of filter is here. Okay, uh, now we will see what is there in the lock filter at Java. So this uh, lock filter which implements uh, filter interface and it has uh, three methods. Uh, the first method is uh, init. Uh, this method will be called by the servlet container. Uh, uh, to initialize this uh, filter and uh, next method is uh, do filter uh, this method will be called by the servlet container uh, to do the filtering process and uh, it has uh, another method called uh, destroy uh, this method will be called by the servlet container uh, to remove the filter from the service okay uh, now we will see what we are doing inside the do filter method so in do filter method uh, what we are doing is uh, we are getting the client ip address using the request uh, object dot uh, get remote address method so once we get the ip address uh, we are logging that ip address uh, then uh, we are passing the request and response to the uh, next resource in the particular uh, chain okay so in this case uh, next resource is uh, hello world servlet okay and uh, this uh, do filter method will be called by the servlet container uh, before it execute the hello world servlet okay uh, now we will see uh, what is there in hello world servlet 
so this uh, hello world servlet uh, extends http servlet and it has uh, init method this method will be called by the servlet container uh, to initialize this uh, servlet uh, then uh, it has uh, do get method so it will uh, receive the request and process the request and uh, it will uh, send response back to the client and uh, here what we are doing is we are uh, just uh, uh, printing uh, hello world okay in the browser and it has a destroy method and uh, this destroy method will be called by the servlet container uh, to take uh, this hello world servlet out of service okay uh, so like i mentioned first it will call do filter right uh, that servlet container will call this uh, do filter method and uh, you can see uh, do filter method is called in uh, log filter okay then uh, we are logging the ip address uh, then what we are doing is uh, in the browser we are displaying uh, log filter is invoked before so that is what you are seeing here okay uh, then uh, uh, the request and response are uh, passed to the next resource so that is nothing but uh, hello world servlet right so it will come inside uh, this uh, do get method and uh, you can see the output here do get is called in hello world servlet okay and uh, so in hello world uh, we are uh, printing in the browser so that is what you are seeing here okay hello world then the response will send back to the client before it goes to the client it will go to the log filter so it will display uh, this in the browser okay log filter is invoked after so that is what you are seeing here okay and uh, this is how uh, filter works and uh, thanks for watching bye